Hi, I'm Tammy and I do math for coffee and right now we are doing a geometry proof. Given that angle 2 is congruent to angle 3, 2 and 3 are the same size, we are supposed to show that angle 1 and angle 4 are also congruent or the same size. Okay, so let's think about this for a second. Angle 1 and angle 2 add together to their linear pair. They're making a straight line right here and 3 and 4 are also making a straight line. So these two add up to 180 and these two add up to 180. If we know that 2 and 3 are the same size and we can subtract those out, that leaves whatever's left over have to also be equal to each other. So 1 has to equal 4. Let's just start writing it up and then we'll do statements and reasons. So let's start with our givens. Angle 2 is congruent to angle 3 and that's a given. Well, what does that mean? It means the measures are equal. I'm going to need that, so I'm going to just go ahead and put that in here. The measure of angle 2 equals the measure of angle 3. And the reason isn't given. The only thing that was told is that they were congruent. We are, we know that the measures are equal because that's the definition of congruence. That is a really bad congruence symbol. Angle 1 and angle 2 add up to 180. That's the definition of a linear pair. If they're supplementary, that would work too, but I'm going to go ahead and just go with linear pair. And the same thing is true for angle 3 and 4. Same reason. Okay, now look at this. We have one quantity equals 180 and another quantity equals 180. 180 equals 180, so these two things must equal each other from that transitive property. So we're going to just do that right now. If I can fit that all on here. Measure <laughs> angle one. I'm going to run over. And the reason is it's the transitive property of equality if you have room on your paper to write the whole thing. Now, here's the interesting part. We know that 2 and 3 are the same size, so I am just subtracting those off in my head. What we're left with is the measure of angle 1 equals the measure of angle 4. And that is the subtraction property of equality. We have the measure of 1 equal to the measure of 4. That means angle 1 must be congruent to angle 4, and that would be the definition of congruence that we used before. And we are done with this proof. Yay! Yay! Yeah. I wasn't too excited about it. I am now. Yay! Hey, if you got some value out of this, it would help me out a lot if you would like and subscribe so this channel can grow on YouTube. Thank you. All right, if you'd like to watch another one, click into this video next.